What's up everybody? Trump you back again with another video and my Zendikar Rising set booster box has finally arrived. And what's funny is I pre-ordered this alongside with the um uh what do you call those ones? Pre-release Pre packs. I got a few of them and <laughs> they were delayed. Uh, but this came on time, so I guess we'll blame it on COVID. Can't do anything about it. Um so I'm just gonna do um an opening uh of this new I guess packs that the um, wizards are set out to make. Um, supposedly, these uh, packs are different in the way that a booster or a collector booster, not a regular booster or a collector booster, operates, where they try to make more excitement points um, when a person opens up the pack. Uh, so, there's going to be an art card, there's going to be some connected comments, so there's going to be some sort of, I guess, theme to it. And then some fireworks cards. And then I think they're also calling um, certain sections the big finish and an epilogue. Um, and then there's going to be um, some cards from the list, which is a set of 300 cards um, that come from Magic's, uh, I guess, history. Um, and I think there's a one in four chance per pack that you get it. Um, and look, we're going to see what the Expedition Box Stopper will give us. I'm really hoping that I get um, you know, fetch land or even a wasteland would be good. Um, I'm not so keen on the man lands, but anything, I think anything will be fine, but hopefully we get a nice fetch here and we'll open that last. So, uh, this, the set boosters, I think have, it's 30, uh, 30 all in all. And I'll just move this aside, um, and have them up here. So 30 all in all, rather than 36 for a regular, um, booster box, uh, collector boosters, I think are 12. Uh, but these have 12 cards in the set. So it starts off first with an art card and then a land slot and then connected commons and uncommons. And then we have a head turner um, and then I think a wild card where you can get anything from common to another rare uh, mythic. So there's a higher chance that you get rares here. Um, so we'll see what we get. So first off is the art card slot. Um, wow. So there's going to be one in every pack and I think there's a chance that it'll be signed. Um, this one is Anti-Cognition by Igor. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have the guaranteed full art Zendikar uh, land. So that's actually quite good. That We're going to get one of the full art lands in every uh, pack. And then we have the connected commons and uncommons. So there's supposed to be a theme here. Uh, this one is Ardent Electromancer. So Wizard, let's see what the next one is. Goblin Rogue, red. Okay, so it looks like they're all red. Uh, another Human Warrior. Um, and then going on to the theme, uh, Green Human Warrior, Goblin Warrior. So I think they're all warriors, yeah. So looking at this, oh, well, I guess party, yeah. Um, there's not really a clear theme. It's not Landfall or anything, but I think all of the, the types that makes up a party. Um, so that's, that's the uh, theme there. And then I guess this would be, is this part of the theme? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be the head turner slot? No, it's not. I think, oh, I don't know. So this is still new to me. I'm not sure how they set this up. Um, okay, so this is one of those um, MDFCs or modal, modal dual face cards, I think. Very confusing the naming conventions that they have. Uh, but, you know, these are the new things that you're trying out. I think they're really good because you're going to smooth out um, the mana uh, draws of people. So you get to play a spell first. And if you really need the land, you can choose to play the land. So there's going to be less feel bads when your mana screwed or mana flooded, you know, later in the game. So I think these are going to be seen more in the different upcoming sets. So pretty interesting to see how they're going to play out um, when we start testing them out. So that's, let's just move it out of the way. Okay, give some more space. And so I think the next one would be the, um, what is this? I don't know. A rare a wild card, I think. Yeah, so it's just, just a common. I will put that here. And then another common card, Cascade Seer. And then our rare is Shattle, Shatter Skull Charger. So it's a one generic, two red, four three. Giant Warrior with Kicker 2. It's got Trample and Haste, and if it was kicked, it comes into the battlefield with a 1-1 counter in it. And at the end step, if it didn't have one, return it to the hand. Okay. So Kicker is a returning theme in the Zendikar set. 
Um, so that's quite good to have that back there. And then we have another uh, foil. I don't know if this is a guaranteed foil. Yeah, so it's a guaranteed foil after the rare mythic slot. We have a guaranteed foil. And we did get another rare, Archon of Emeria, um, which people are saying are quite good because it, it makes uh, Commander games a lot fair to play because each player can cast, can't cast can cast more than one spell each turn and non-basic lands opponent controls enter the battlefield tap. So it kind of makes magic being played a little bit more fair. And then, oh, look, so we have our... Uh, card from the list. Um, so this is from, I think, what is that? Cold Snap, if I'm not mistaken. Grim Harvest. So there's, I think, a one in how many chance of getting uh, a card from the list of this 300 cards that uh, Magic has put in the list uh, for reprint value. Uh, and so, yeah, otherwise this would have been a, um, a token. So it's good to see that we've got our first pack um, see seeing a card from the list. Okay, so let's have a look at pack number two. Let's see what we find here. Okay. Okay, so the art card is this is a Seagate Stormcaller by Anna Stein Steinbar. Okay, very nice. So I wonder if these things are gonna have any value to them. Um, actually, what would be cool would be to collect all of the um, uh, basic lands and then use them as actual lands for your commander deck. So that that I might do. Um, if I can get um, a lot of them. Um, here's our land. So let me just fix this up. We're getting a bit messy here. Um, our land, and then our connected commons and uncommons. So the theme would be wizard, warrior, human cleric, I guess party again. I'm not sure. So that's the six one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then our head turners. Slot, I think this is the one. Okay, so it's um our uh, MDFC. So it's a land in the back, spell in the front. Okay, Bane Veil. Nice, look at that art. Okay, and then we are going now to our wild card slot, which is just a common. Okay, and then this would be. I'm not sure what this would be. A rare slot? No, it can't be. This would be there. So that's our rare slot. Um, nice. So we got Zareth Sand, the Trickster, um, one of the new legendaries, uh, three generic black and blue. Uh, it has Flash. It's a Merfolk Rogue. It's a 4 4 creature. And, you know, so this one you can pay uh, two black and blue, return an unblock attacking rogue you control to your hand. Put this guy back in your hand. In, uh, sorry, put this guy uh, from your hand into the battlefield. Uh, tapped and attacking. So it's kind of like those um, rogue shenanigans that you can uh, use, kind of like Yuriko um, and all those other cards. Um, so yeah, let's uh, see if this will be uh, cool to build a commander around. So that's our rare. And then our guaranteed foil is a turn timber ascetic. Okay. And then, oh, so another one from the list. It's a mm. Simeon Spirit Guide. So we actually got two from the list. That's uh the uh, token in the token ad slot, so that's actually quite good. So we're probably not going to see a lot more after this, um, seeing that we've had two in a row, um, both uncommons though, not uh, any rare mythics. Be cool to see. It'd be cool to see that come out. Okay, so on to pack three. Let's see what we get. So yeah, so still trying to feel this uh, this new system out. See what we get. I'll be taking some time just to go through these because I haven't seen them yet. Okay, so this one is a, a swamp. See, so you see what I'm saying? If you can actually fill your whole deck with this and then just say that these are all your swamps, I mean, that's basically it, right? But this is actually full art. So I see that maybe some people would want to collect all of these basic full arts and then make them their lands in commander decks. I think that would be pretty cool because that's basically it, right? Without the border. Um, so we'll see. I wonder how much they'll go for. So Swamp. Okay, looking at our six commons and unconnected commons. So we've got, uh, what is this, an instant? Okay, so maybe all instants, no? Black cards? Yep. yep, black cards. Ooh, now we have a blue card and another blue card. So what's the theme here? Hard to say. Counters? Counters? Well, I don't know. So this is a hard, a hard game to play. It's hard also to do it behind the camera. 
Um, but anyway, we can review it later and see what they have in common. The first four counters. Okay, so Monica says the first four have to do with counters. That's right. Yep. And then the next two are flying creatures. So it doesn't necessarily mean that all of them are connected, maybe. Okay, so still trying to figure it out. And then the next one is our uh, head turner slot. Yep. Okay, so yep, this is the cool um, alternate art card style. I think they were going for some travel uh, themed looks. Um, you know, those old travel posters. So we've got a, a prowling felidar, 2-3. Uh, three generic and a white. It's vigilance and landfall, which is a returning mechanic here in the set. Uh, pretty cool art. Mm, nice. Nice. Okay. And then, what do we have here? Two head head turner slots. Wildcard. Or a wild card. So another common. And then we've got... Nice. So this is one of those pathways. Um, choose whichever side uh, as it comes in. So this one is the white and, uh, sorry, the green and the white one. Ooh. Okay. So very interesting design here um, because, you know, they don't come into play tap. You get to choose. The only downside is it's not a basic, so you can't fetch it. Um, but I think there's a good space for this. Um, so I'm actually quite happy to pull one of these things. Um, and I think, you know, having these, like even looking at this next mythic, right? I mean, behind that, it's a land. So, you know, late game, you may want to cast that. Early game, you may want to have this, uh, you know, uh, comes into play tapped unless you pay three life. So very modal, uh, choicey, you know, it gives you some options. So I think it's quite good that wizards are coming up with these sort of things. The only thing I don't like is that, you know, if you're playing with sleeved cards, you have to take it out, put it, turn it around, put it back in. So I guess double sleeving is going to be more of a thing for me now. Um, but that's the only thing I don't like about these double face cards. It's the, the removing it and, and out of the sleeve and putting it back in. But, you know, super cool to get a pathway. Um, let's put that there. And then our first mythic, Turn Timber Symbiosis. Nice. Very high casting cost. But you have the option to put this land into play uh, tapped or you pay three life and you don't. So that's actually uh, quite a good design. Let's see how this plays out. Putting this in the cube, most probably. All of these uh, double face cards, because options are good in the cube. And then we've got an Expedition Sulker for our uh, foil. And then a Hydra token. Okay. So I'm going to get Monica to, to, to crack some packs here. Oh. Come on. Give it a go. Me. Open I... it up. Bust it open. Okay, this is pretty fun. I so might... Uh... If you see girly hands, uh, <laughs> that's not mine. <laughs> well, they won't see... Carry hands, yeah. that's for sure. All right, so I know that we're starting with our art card. Oh, look! Whoa, Lotus it's a Lotus Cobra. Cobra. It's so pretty. Very nice. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna uh, ooh and ah a bit more than Sean. That's for sure. Oh, it's so nice. I like it. So where does this go? So uh, and, we'll put it here in the art card. You oh, look at this island. Nice. It's it's like the middle of the ocean. It's about to 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 erupt into a it's a creature. Yeah. What the kraken? Kraken, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. You know the cool thing about these uh, this pack is that uh, you know it's a different way of opening up magic. Um, you know, I, I kind of like it. I see where they're going here. I think I'd much prefer this to opening up a regular booster. Obviously, if you're going to draft the booster packs, the way to go. But you know, having a collector booster is a bit too steep for me in price. So I think this is the sweet spot for me. Yeah. So these are the six um, commons and uncommons. Not sure what the connection is. But we'll look at those more later. Yeah. Let's go here. Over here. And then this is our head turner slot. Oh, look at that art. Ooh. So it's an instant on one side. And then the other mode will be the land. It's a land. Wow. wow that's really nice. Silundi Isle. Silundi Isle. Very nice. Very nice. Where does this go? So Up that here. goes over here. Here, okay. the head turner slot. Okay, all right, cool. And these are the two wild card slots. Cleansing wild. I, I like that art. That was the thing that was, I think, in the video that they spoiled, like ah, the little yes. flowery thing, right? Yeah. So destroy um, one in the red, destroy target land. Okay, very nice. Then you have another sorcery. Oh, look at that. Rapid bite. Okay, where did these go? Mm, we can put them here in the commons. In uh, commons and. Uncommons. Okay. Then for our rare mythic slot, okay, we've got Tajuru Paragon, Elf Creature. Oh, and it follows the, the, the party 
theme. The party theme. It is a cleric, rogue, warrior, wizard, and an elf all at the same time. Yeah, I'm not too keen about the party theme, but we'll see. Yeah. I've, I'll have to play it out, but I'm not too hot about it. This is, this is the other wild card slot, so it's a common, right? No, this is your... Um, this is a foil? The, the guaranteed foil. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a foil, yeah. Wow, and look, behind that is a card from the list, a Warren wow. Power Stone. So that's like our third in a row. This is our lucky day. It's our lucky Friday. Wow, okay. Opening day, Warren Power Stone. Nice. So third in a row. It's my turn again. Which is weird because I think, uh, what is the, uh, is it a one in four chance? One in six? I'm not sure. Uh, so to get three in a row, you know, I, I'm hoping that we still have uh, some some mythics that we can pull from the list. All right, pack four. Who's this guy? That's that angel of... Who's this guy? What is this? Angel of something that if you deal damage Let's to the see. person. Angel of destiny. There you go. Oh, wow. Nice. All right. And then we have our first planes our for land. our land slot yeah. for full art land then our commas and commons yeah so we're just taking our time here just to soak in the new cards the new art um sixth one i'll probably show everything else in the end all the the mythics and the rares um, okay and the cards from the list head turner slot okay so another What's yes. it called? MDC? Yeah, modal dual faced card. Okay. It's a mouthful. MDFC. Colony ambush, and then I guess a colony land on the back. Yeah, colony territory on the back, featuring big cats. Nice. Nice. Then for our two wild card slots, okay, we've got a squid. <laughs> nice. So landfall trigger. Okay, so it's a common, and then do we get so another common? The common with interesting art. Okay. Goblin warrior. And then next should be our rare mythic, which is. Throne of McKinney. Okay. All right, all right. Cool. Where does it go? Up here? Yep. And then our guaranteed foil is a veteran adventurer. For that, very nice. So following the party theme also. Okay. Five, five. And then this time we get a cat oh, token. Oh, I definitely will be asking Chum if I can keep this one. It's a cat that's got a little belt on him for tools. Interesting. So he's a cool cat. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'll just uh, come back in and open up a few more packs. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? So obviously this won't be from the list because we can see that that's a token back yeah, or an yeah. ad card. Okay, so this is one of those new legendary creatures. It's a Yasharn Implacable Earth. Very, very funky looking art. Nice. Okay. Nice. So we have a foil, Ooh. full art forest. Shiny. Oh, and I then here another we squid, go. yeah, the same squid, guy. ox. So I think landfall is definitely the the theme mm -hmm. that it looks like it's gonna. Yep. Yes. It's a dread worm, uh, and here we've got what tramplers? No, not necessarily. So creatures that with power four or greater. I don't know. This is it's not clear. So, but those are the connected commons and uncommons. And then our head turner. Sorry, is this what we call the head turner? Yes. Yes. The head turner, turner slot. slot. Wow. Nice art. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. Kazandu. Back in a bug's Nectropot. life. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so it's a uh, one generic green, one three insect landfall. Whenever the land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain a life. Look nice. at that art. By Daniel. What is that? Likes. Lisk. Li Lisk. Nice. Look at that art. Definitely enjoying opening these packs now. Okay. So let's see. Uh, oh, well, common. Whoa, we got a mythic in our oh. wild card. This is um, mm -hmm. this is the Lithoform engine. Basically, it copies activated abilities, triggered abilities, instant sorceries, or permanent spells. Definitely going in the cube. Wow. Epic card. Um, wow, this is like a Xerox machine. You basically can copy anything. <laughs> That's insane. Oh wow! And look, another another rare after the mythic. So this is definitely cool. You know, opening up a mythic and then right behind it is a rare. Um, let's put that here in the mythic slot. And we already saw Zareth a while ago. And then, okay, so our foil is a showcase prowling felidar. Very nice. Okay, and then, you know, these new plants, pretty cool. I like the design of that. All right, so, so far, pretty uh, pretty interesting. Uh, pulled two mythics, had three uh, cards from the list, and then, um, you know, some nice... Uh, Pathways, 
So this one is a a boulder loft pathway. Okay, one of those dual lands. Very nice. Okay, we got our full art forest, and then going into our connected commons and uncommons. Uh huh. So we've got instants and sorceries, and then artifact creature, instant double strike. So yeah, I don't know. We'll have a look at it again later and see what 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 do they have in common. Okay, so our head turner slot. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, so this is one of those uh, land at the back sort of DFCs, MDFCs. Pelaka Predation. It's a two generic and a black. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a card from it. You can convert a mana cost to a greater, and the player discards a card or play it as a land. Very nice. Okay. And then, so we get a common. Do we get, oh, it's an uncommon. Okay. Wow. Umara Mystic, 1-3, mm -hmm. Merfolk Wizard, 3 to cast. Flying whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, wizards or wizard spell, it gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. So instant matters, sorcery matters, wizard matters, three things that make it matter. Okay. And then, uh, let's just put this down here. And then what we have for our rare is a Myriad Construct. Okay, I'm not familiar with this, but I'll have a look at it later. And then our guaranteed foil is a subtle strike. Okay, so look, another lots of modes, this or that or both. Very good. And then, okay, another wow. one from the list. This time we get a clear water goblet. Never seen this card before in my wow. life. It's an artifact five to cast with sunburst. And at the beginning of your upkeep, you may gain one life for each charge counter on clear water goblet. I am, uh, it is strange. So we've pulled four, is that four? Yeah, four cards from the list. And um, what is the chance of getting that? Uh, I'll get Monica to check while I open it up. I don't know. How, how many packs in a set? There's, There's 30. Three. And so. I think, I don't know, I think it's like a 25% chance to yeah, pull it. Yeah, so if we have maximum chances, then we should get 12. Okay, I, I don't know. We'll have to look at it later on. I'm not sure. Okay, wow. Is this a pathway? It's a forest. Oh my god, look at that forest. That would be cool to put as all of your forests in your decks. Love it. Okay, mountain. Okay, canopy, Bayloth. Strength of solidarity. Uh, Teeter Peak, Ambusher. Resolute Strike. Targeting Arbor Mage, and then our head turner is a Tangled <laughs> Flora Hedron. Okay, that's so cute. But the art is pretty that funky. Is so cute. Wow, look at the little tiny butterfly. And then the land in the back is a Tangled Veil. Very nice. Okay, and then we've got a Sizzling Barrage for a wild card slot. So we get two, and then okay, so this one. What is this? Glasspool Mimic. So it's a two generic, one blue, shapeshifter rogue. You may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature you control, except it's a shapeshifter rogue in addition to its other types. Okay, pretty cool. And then that's the back of it. So that's a rare. And then, ooh, nice. Another foil rare. Uh, Null Priest of Oblivion. Okay. It's more like a null priest test. Nice. Look at this. I love the the art of these uh these tokens. Look at that. Who made this? Jakub. Jakub Casper. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So I'll get Monica to open up a few packs. We we'll do a little bit of rotation. Yeah. Sorry, my math was wrong earlier. So if we, if there's thirty packs, then we should have about um at the most six point five card or sorry seven point five. But is it twenty? On the list. Is it a one twenty-five percent? Okay, yeah. twenty-five percent. Can I open this or not? Yes, you can. Some of the things I haven't quite. Oh, it, it, it's it's better from the bottom. Uh, now I see. All right. Obviously, still a beginner. The opening of that. What Whoa. on earth is it? That's a mythic. Um, what is it? That mythic green creature, Arishin. What is it? A Yash Ashaya. Ashaya, soul of the wild. Wow. That's the one that turns all oh, and look, of the creatures into basic. We've got forests. a little um, uh, code back here, so there must be eighty one of these art cards. Yeah, yeah, this definitely. Is number sixty nine yeah. of them. It's a numbered uh, art series. We can check later which ones we have. Okay, we've got a very nice greenish swamp, and then okay, the start of our commons and uncommons. Got a beast, 
Fire Eruption, Through My Wire. I think everything is a kick theme. Yeah. Apart from that one. Is this also part of it? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, no? it is. Yeah, I don't know. All I think right. So, yeah. Nice. Wow. Very nice and colorful card. This is our head turner slot. Certainly an, a head turner. Brush Fire Elemental. It's got a landfall trigger also. Okay, your opinion on this art versus the Ikoria uh, showcase ones, which one do you think is better? Like the Ikoria had a different look compared to this. They're both colorful and you know all that. The other one is yeah. more cartoony. This is more like, I guess we're going for like a an artsy vibe. I I, I like the art in the Ikoria. It's like, um I wouldn't say cartoony, more like the, the drawing style had outlines, had outlines, color outlines. Yeah, so pronounced, very... dark outlines. Yeah, where does this guy go? Okay, sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Then for our two wild card slots, first we've got Reclaim the Waste, Sorcery. Search for a basic land card you really put into your hand. Shuffle your library. Then you can kick it to get two instead of one. Okay, that's great. And only for um, one green. And then Concerted Defense and Instant. Counter target non-creature spell. Okay, playing into the party theme. Cool. Whoa, Mythic Time. Oh, Leyline. Oopsie daisies. Leyline Tyrant. Dragon flying, you don't lose unspent red mana. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, so I think. And then for our foil, wow, this is actually perfect to be a foil. Looks like it's actually really erupting in real time. Royal eruption, okay. super cool. Okay, what is it? Oh, it's a copy, a copy token. Copy cool, token. cool. All right, all right. I'll so... take the last pack of this first, um, the first third. Yeah, so we're actually Except. slow rolling this. So for those who are watching, feel free to fast forward to the end. Okay, uh, so we've got a token. We're sure. going to slow roll this and enjoy. Yeah, I, I said to Chum, you know, I, I, I really want to look at all the cards. Yeah. I haven't done too many of these openings, so I'm super excited about it. All right, so who do we have here? Drana, the last blood chief. Very nice. Okay, we've got, oh, a nice plane, a nice windy plane for our full art land. And then for our commons on commons, I think we've got another kick, kick, kicker theme. Yeah, yeah for sure. I get it. And then I think, yeah, I've, I've seen that they kind of put artifacts at the end. Huh? Okay. And so this is our showcase. Oh, creature worm horror. Whenever a land enters a battlefield under your control, it gets indestructible. I can just see Chump putting this into one of his decks, and I'm not going to enjoy playing against it for sure. I definitely mm -hmm. love a black, a mm -hmm. good black deck. Okay, and then for our wildcard slot, so I think we got this Ox earlier, and then we got a Core Cleric. And then for our, this is a rare? Yep. Cragplate Baloth, or B Baluth. Baluth. As, as um, somebody calls it. Baloth. All right, so an Akum Hellhound, an elemental dog for our foil card. Whenever Lan enters the battlefield, he gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Otherwise, he's a zero one. Okay. Hey, those are strong. They're uh, if you have let's say a fetch land, you can technically make him ah. a four or five creature, um, and you know you can do other shenanigans like if you cast, uh, you know, a Harrow Patrick. for example, then it, it you know you can just get big out of nowhere. All right, fair, fair. All right, keep on going. Me? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll soon be an expert at, at opening these. You got to start somewhere. Okay. So yeah, I think we only had a chance of getting a maximum of about seven of those list cards. So we have, since we've gotten four, we have about three left. Yeah, and we've already gotten a, what, a rare. I oh, look, it's Nahiri. And Nahiri and Jace. Nice. Okay, full art plane. Okay, let's look at our commons and commons. Sorceries. Sorcery, instant, instant, instant. Okay. okay, okay. Oh, nice for our head turner slot. Spitfire Lagak, Lizard. Whenever land enters the battlefield under control, deals one damage to each opponent. That's great. Okay. Okay. So so far, we haven't really been getting any rares or mythics here, right? There I think we got one earlier. One, yeah. So nothing real. Like I want to see a pack where we get. Maybe three rares and a mythic. Ooh. That would be epic. Oh, cool. A mythic. Just okay. talking about it. Oh, he's the guy from earlier. Yeah. Angel of Destiny. So I haven't seen other male angels except for this guy. Is, is this female? a male? Isn't he? Can you bring him closer? Let's have a look. 
Are there any boobies? Well, Look at the she hair. Could it looks, be a short haired. Yeah, it looks like short hair. Looks like a girl. I just wanted to hope that they were also guy angels, and you know, it wasn't just a well, female cast. I think kind there's of a car, role. and it's called Angel Gabriel Angel Fire. I think oh, really? one of the older ones. Really bad art. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for a floral, well, what, what is it? Is it a rat? What is it? What is that? What is it? It's a minotaur or a, a rat? I don't All know. Right. In this, uh, in order to age. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, this is this one is cool because like this is like one of those alternate win cons um, at the beginning of your end step. If you have fif- at least fifteen or more life in your starting, then you're starting <gasps> life total. If you were attacked by this dude, uh, you the 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 person attacked uh, this turn loses the game. Oh my so goodness! Maybe in a Kalia deck. I don't know. I think this is a guy. Look, he has got uh, three pairs of wings. Women it, don't need that much airlift. What? Okay. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, and then for our token, we have a very um, interesting looking goblin construct. Goblin construct. Okay, your turn. All right. So let's uh, let's carry on. Let's carry on the uh, the opening of the set booster pack train. Okay, what do we have next? So, I, how many pathways did we get? I think just one so far. I'm not sure. Pathways. Yeah, I think we got one. Anyway, we'll check later on. Check later. Okay. Well, what is this weird art monstrosity thingy? Skyclave shade. Okay. So forest. And then we've got the next six cards. Okay. And then now we've got our showcase. Akum Warrior. Okay, so it's a five, no, six to cast, four, five trample, and then the other side you get a land. Akum Teeth. Nice. And then a common. Nice. Okay, so we got our legendary rare. Mm. How do you say that? Aura, Aura, Skyclave, Hierophant. Uh, I think what this was this um, one of the box toppers. I'm not sure. Uh, two generic um, white black three three life link. Whenever Aura, Skyclave, Hierophant, or another cleric you control dies, return this. Tar- sorry, target cleric with lesser. Converted mana cost from the graveyard to the battlefield. So clerics matters themed legendary. Okay. Oh, nice. Another rare. Thieving Skydiver. This one's wow. cool because then you can start to steal um, soul rings, uh, wow. equipment. Um, I mean, X can't be zero, but then if you want to steal a zero cost uh, equipment, uh, sorry, uh, artifact, you can just pay one and that's not so bad. Um that's gonna be that's gonna be a good one. And okay, we got a foil, foil uh, pathway. Very nice. Look at that. So that's our rare mythic slot. Oh well, no, no, this is our guaranteed foil, and then we have a rare foil, and it's a pathway. Oh, okay. So that's pretty cool. Nice. I'll put that there in the rare slot. Okay, so I think what we've got two pathways. I wonder how the pathways are going to be received by the players. Is this going to be something like a new fetch? I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, what's this? Scourge of the Sky Caves. Wow. It's like a big dragon bat guy. Okay. Uh, mountain. Okay. Equipments. Equipments, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. And then we have our uh, head turner, Kabira Takedown, mm-hmm. that flips into a land. Okay. And then Skyclave Sentinel. That's our common. Ooh. Ooh. Canyon Jerboa. <laughs> what is this? Uh, it's a mouse. It's, it's a mouse. It's a mouse. It's kind of cute. Look at that. Kind of furry. Look at that art by Antonio Jose Manza Manzanedo. Sounds Filipino. I wonder if he is. Nice art. Whoa! Nice. Okay, wow. we've got um, our, our first, first planeswalker, planeswalker and a full art uh, planeswalker Nissa of Shadowed Burrows. Wow! So this is a uh, two generic Golgari, black and green, starting with four loyalty landfall. So I think this is the first planeswalker with. Landfall as a static ability, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but wow, look at that art. 
Very nice. Beautiful. That is an epic pull. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. And then, okay, so we've got a foily. Okay, Monica, your turn. Okay. I'm going to cool. move these uh, commons and uncommons out of the way. Give some space uh, for Monica to put some some stuff down there. It would there. be cool if we got another planeswalker, no? Don't you think? Yeah, I mean, if we get all three, that would be the dream. And if we're all like, uh, you know, full art like uh, Nyssa here, that would be pretty epic. So we still need to get Jason and Nahiri. Let's see if we can get, get them. Okay, you got a samurai looking guy for our uh, full art. Oh, it's a vampire. All right. <laughs> All right, okay. We've got an, another island. And then our commons. Okay, great. And then we've got a mortal card instant in the front. And a glacier on the back. Nice. It's a jury glacier. Yeah. I think I'll be putting most of these in the cubes. Like, I like the fact that you can choose either or. Um, oh, nice. Is this a rare card? Yeah. So this is like the new Vampire Nighthawk. It's a Nighthawk Scavenger, which kind of acts like a Tarmogoyf because it checks for the number of card types in mm. an opponent's graveyard. So technically, this dude is going to replace my Vampire Nighthawk um, in my black decks because he's strictly just... An upgrade better. Cool. All right. And this is our. Oh, we got another rare. I think this is our uh, wild um, card slot. Maybe. Huh? And, and then for our for... guaranteed foil, Spitfire, Lagak. And I think I see, yes, another card from the list. Okay. So Relentless Rats yeah. from. I think that's 10th edition. Yeah. Wow. Cool. That's the first time I've seen that symbol. Yeah. Quite, quite an What's old... the background of this card? Um, well, it's a rat, and you know, the more rats that they have in play with the same name, you create more rats. So, looks like they have a king, um, a king rat in the background, you know, that that um story about um, okay. So, how many of the cards from the list have we actually pulled? So, it's one, five. two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, well, I think one was rare from them. Okay, all right, Onwards. next one, here we go. All right. All right, all right. Yeah, so it's actually quite, uh, I guess, refreshing yeah. to pull cards from oh the old times. Um, and they're putting it in these new sets. Oh, look at that. That's uh, the Wasteland. Uh, wow, that's Land nice. Expedition. Wasteland art. Yeah. Okay, planes. I think it's the Wasteland. Let me just check. Yep. Oh, these are nice looking cards. Oh, this card we, we've we've seen um, discussed before right? by by other um, uh, in other openings. I think this was um, played in one of the latest game nights uh, episodes where they featured uh, Zendika Rising. Yeah, um, I can't remember the, the name of the girl, but she was yeah. she was playing um, uh, what do you call this a party deck, and, and I she, think, she did very well. Yeah. with that strategy, she ended up number okay, two. McKinley Ox. Let's go. Then for our two wildcard slots, okay, we've got two commons. And then we've got a Verazol, the split current legendary creature serpent. Verazol sounds like a so cleaning So Simic, product. interesting. Very nice. Then for our guaranteed four, we've got a Scorch Rider, Human Warrior with a kicker effect. And oh my, this is our lucky knight. Another card from the list. Okay. Evermind. Never mind this blue. Splicing to Arcane. Okay, draw a card. All right, so it's a it's okay. a common uncommon card. So yeah, still wanting to get one of those epic mythics. Hopefully, we can get the mythics from the um, the list. Actually, don't know what's in the list. I don't have memorized it, but yeah, it's always cool to see new cards. Um, well, not new cards, but new reprinted cards um, in these sets. Wow, foil. I love this. This this bowl island, I don't know what you call it. A floating bowl island. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Actually, this art is beautiful. I, the, the person who does this, Wiley Beck, Beckert, there's a certain art oh. style that this guy has, and it's very always nice. very distinct. 
very distinct looking art uh, from this artist. I really like it. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Balaged Recovery. So it's, uh, I guess, a regrowth that turns into a land. Yep. And then, let's see what else we get. Okay, so we didn't get anything special there. But next is, okay, we've got a Linvala Shield with the Seagate. Not too hot on this card. Um, mm -hmm. You know, three to cast, three, three flying. It's got that party mechanic, which I'm not mm -hmm. really feeling. So, yeah, but the art, though. Epic. Wayne Reynolds. Good job, buddy. Okay, Tazim Raptor and a Cats. All right, so we're, I guess, a little bit over half the 30 packs. Okay, what's this? Ooh. This one is Umara Mystic. Okay, we got ourselves a nice forest. And then these are the next six cards. Okay, and then we've got our sh head turner. So Kazul's Fury turns into Kazul's Cliff. Nice. Okay. Uncommon. Nice. Okay, oh, so second one, right? Yep. Second one. Okay. So are we going to get another rare? I think we are. Yep. Yes. Okay, we've yeah. got that also. Cool. And then, okay, the foil is a Cliff Haven Kite Sail and a copy token all right so how are you feeling these uh set boosters so far you like them very different i think in terms of what you get oh, yes sir funny dude we watched uh, him in an episode of uh command zone playing with uh, the command zone boys uh -huh. and also he had an, an interview with a lot talk with them yeah yeah. Actually, it's it's quite good to see artists who play the game because then you know they can put their art into the thing that they, they love. And he's you know he's a really in he's really into magic and he loves it. And so you know it's it's when I see his art, I'm like wow, pretty cool. And then that new command zone uh, playmat play uh, that's on Kickstarter, pretty cool. Whoa, look pretty at this! Cool. So it's a ruin crab. Nice showcase. Um, this one, I think there was a card like this back in original Zendikar where Hedron Crab, I think it was, that when you, whenever you land, when land enters the battlefield, um, you mill the opponent's, uh, library. Uh, but this one I think is now each opponent. I don't know if it's the same as the other one. I think the other one was target opponent. This one is each. Uh, so that's going to be good. Anti-cognition, Dauntless Unity. Okay, so we get a Magmatic Chandler for the rare. And then our foil is a Shatter Skull Minotaur, followed by a Drake. Okay. Yeah, so I wonder when the uh, pre-release packs will come. We also pre-ordered the... Um, the pre-release. No, the other one, the uh, Commander Precons, which, to be honest, uh, doesn't look that exciting uh, comparing it to other years. Um, what is this? Island? Nice. Um, but just got it anyway. I probably won't open it. Just keep it for a while. Um, but yeah, not not a lot of uh, new cards. I think there was like only three new cards. The rest were all reprints. Not bad reprints, actually, uh, with some of them. Okay. Okay, so we have our Umara Wizard. Well, we saw this guy a while ago. Turns into a land. Yep. Umara Skyfalls. And then, okay, Kazandru. Uh, this is the one with the very cool uh, showcase art that we saw a while ago. This is a different version. And then Vastwood Surge. Okay. So uh, I guess for aggro decks, this would be good. Although I'm not sure about the return a land you control to owner's hand when it deals combat damage. Um, I don't know how you can get around that. Uh, we'll see how creative people get. But, you know, a one for two, two. Um, with this uh, trample haste, yeah, trample haste, and I think the, I guess a significant downside, but you know, I think people might um, figure a way around that. So it'll be interesting to see how people use this in the aggro decks. Uh, Canopy Bayloth. Okay, all right, Monica, you're up. All right, Let's see what we get. 
So this is the last pack of, uh, I think this is the 20th pack we've uh, opened up. So we've got 10 more packs after that. Yeah, so this is the, this is at the end of two thirds. Right here. Okay, Ooh, nice. so Lissa has her full art card. Oh, we've got a, pla a, a foil plate. I really like it. Nice. Okay, cats. So I was telling Trump that one day I want to have a cat deck. I think this is all animals, the theme of this one. Well, at least the first few were. Rogue turns into a yep. black bloom bug. And then for our wild card slots, we've got a sorcery, and then we've got an elf wizard. And then for our rare, we've got a Kazandu Mammoth, and it's actually one of those um, DFCs. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Over there. Sorry. Over here. Rare slot. And then for our rares, our foil. Oh, it's an enchantment. I'm actually very partial to enchantments. Enchant land is a 4 4 elemental creature with leech, leech and haste to land. And when it dies, you turn the card into its owner's hand. I just might be asking Chunk for this later. Mm -hmm. Let's see about that. Okay, so we've got our first ad. Um, in that uh, token our ad slot, we have our first ad card. Okay. All right. Okay, Let's last go. Ten. Sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Let me just move this out of the way. So we have a m mountain art. Nice mountain art. Swamp. Ooh, that could look nice art. Negate. Negate. Nice. Enchantment. Instant. Instant. Creature. Creature. All right. And then we've got um, instant counter, counter target spell on one side. And then we've uh, add blue on the other for a wild card slot. We've got an instant and an equipment, Ooh. and then we've got a rare. This is that crazy extra attack turns, uh, oh, minotaur yes. warrior dude. Additional combat phase after this phase yeah. triggered by landfall. Great, I can definitely see this being put to use in your um, does Omnath have red in him? Yeah, Omnath. I knew it. I'm gonna Omnath face this in the Omnath deck. Uh oh. And we've got a very nice foil fat bakindi ox Ooh. and then a lovely plant token yeah so we'll probably just see one more card from the list maybe i don't know um what would be a cool let me just see what the full art cool card from the list sea gate restoration island more enchantment lands enchant lands Got a Skyclave Cleric, Skyclave Basilica on the other side. And then for our um, wild card slot, Territorial Scythe Cat, and then an instant. Oh, look at this beautiful rare card. Okay. Beautiful color. Description of Ruin. Indeed. So, yeah. Description cycle cards. Lots and lots of options. And then if you kick it, you can choose any number instead of just choosing one. Cool. Great. And then we've got a foil expedition diver. Okay, Daisy. And another art card. I'm uh, sorry, add card. Add card. Okay. All right. Okay. Moving on. Okay, what do we have here? Wow. Whoa. Wow. Nice. Yeah, so I don't know why people would just want to just pass through these things. Like, you just got to appreciate appreciate, appreciate the art. Yeah, yeah. That's what they intended for, for this yeah. kind of um, pack, of right? Storm. Yeah. Uh, many excitement points. So if you're just after rare hunting, then, you know, you should go out and buy um, one of the collector boosters. But this yeah. is more an experience, I think. And I'm, so far, I'm liking it. Me too. Okay. Red worm got you ready. Okay, mind drain, bubble snare, bubble snare. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Actually, that's funny. Is that by Jesper? No, it's Jakub. Jakub Casper. <laughs> He's got some humor. Okay, what is this? This is a uh, Hagra Mauling. It's a oh, uh, two generic black black. This spell costs one less cast if an opponent controls no basic lands. Okay. And you get to destroy target creature. It's an instant that forms into a... Oh, my goodness. A foil leyline Leyland tyrant. I think this is going to be worth a pretty penny. Really? Yeah. Wow. 
Nice. So we have two, one foil, one non-foil. Cool. Okay. So that's uh, that's nice. Okay, and a core warrior. Um, was hoping to get more pathways. I'm not sure value-wise what they what they are right now, but I think there may be they may be the sleeper lands. Um, you know, when the fetches came out, I remember people were just like, okay, you pay a life, you look for a land, but then, you know, now they're worth so much. So I wonder if the uh, these new lands um, are going to be the same. McKinney Stampede. Okay, so that's going to be the one that flips over to a McKinney Mesas. And then Disenchant. Classic. Always got to have a disenchant. Mm. Blood price. It means I, I got to have one too. Yeah. That's a shimmy. <laughs> Confounding conundrum. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of text. Let's read it. Uh, one generic, one blue enchantment. When Confounding Conundrum enters the battlefield, draw a card. All right. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, if that player had another land enter the battlefield under their control this turn, Ooh. they return a land they control to its owner's hand. So... Um, yeah, that's going to slow down. It kind of uh, negates their, their second Yeah, landfall. fetch lands, uh, the second landfall, so you can't really ramp that quickly. Nice. That's going to be a pain. Love blue enchantments. Going to be a pain. Wow. Okay. Check it out. Scavenged blade. So a nice foil card. You know, the cool thing with these equipments is when they enter the battlefield, you get to attach it right away to a creature. Yeah. Um, so that's that new thing they're doing with these equipments. Although the equip cost is a little bit higher, uh, but at least you get value right away um, and get to use it. So it's, a, 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 I guess, a different look at how um, these equipments are being designed. Love the innovations, Watsi. Love it. Okay. Is this, this is a murky pathway. Murky? Murk water, sorry. Murk water pathway. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. What are you guys? Vampires, golems, relic golem. Nice. Okay, uh, showcase fearless fledging. Uh, landfall, one white, one generic, one one. Whenever land enters the battlefield under control, put a one one counter and fearless fledging against flying at the end of turn. Okay. 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 Ooh, Lotus, oh, Cobra. Lotus Cobra. I mean, I have a, f um, awesome. a few of these already. I mean, so not beautiful. these ones, but the original ones. But yeah, the art in this one, very nice. Actually, the showcase one would be really, really cool to pull. That would be because um, the art in that one is amazing. And then we have a Kazandu Stomper. Wow. Okay. All right, Monica, go ahead. Okay. We're down to our last few packs. Last five, I think. Last five. Who is this? I'm just pick up for the art. Core Celebrant. Okay. Island. Okay. And a, and a land. That's the sixth of our commons. Yeah. Nice. Right, uh, vast wood fortification, instant on one side, and a vast wood picket on the other side. Okay, wild card, sign of swarm, and a okay, another inscription yeah, another of ruin description. sorcery. That's great. And another rare. Okay, shadows verdict, exile all plane, creatures and planeswalkers with CMC three or less. Great. And then for our foil, we've got a strength of solidarity. And oh, is this like another card from the list? Yeah, must Bell. be. Belfry Spirit. Spirit, yeah. And it's got a haunt mechanic. When this creature dies, exile it. Haunting target creature. Wow, it's the first time I've seen that. Yeah, first time I've seen that they, card. They don't use it anymore much, I guess. The haunt. I'm not sure what set that's from. I, I, yeah, what is that? I think I that's, yeah. Interesting. Okay, beautiful uh, forest art. Plains. All right. And then we've got the rogue cleric. We've got the base camp again. Got the party theme for our commons and uncommons. Song mad treachery, sorcery, gain control of target creature on one side. Well, I like that very much. Oh, can I have this one? 
<laughs> I'm running a, a deck that likes to get to get control of creatures. Then for our two wild cards, okay, got some commons, and then we've got a rare relic robber goblin rogue. And a really beautiful Omega Mystic, Mystic foil. And a Drake. And then a Drake. Okay. Alright, down to our last few. Last few, my last one, then Shum's gonna open the remaining. All right, we saw this lady earlier. Nice. Lenvala, I think. Into the Royal. Mobile Snare. So, Instance, Human, Wizard. Look at this card. Skyclave Squid. Nice so, this art. is the alternate art, right? Yep. It's pretty cool. And then we've got an artifact creature and a sorcery for a wild card slot. Okay. Onto Inversion. Nice. Destroy all non-land permanents. And then a land on the other side. So great. Got another one of those. Elf Rogue Foil. And then, yep. Add slot. Cool. All right. So down to our last two. And then we open up the Expedition Box Topper. And hopefully we do get an Expedition. Um, that will be the close of this uh, box. Yeah, this box that we've been looking forward to so much. Weeks. Play in the waste, yeah. Foil Swamp, very nice. Okay. You can definitely build a Warrior Wizard deck after all of these Warrior Wizard cards. Whoa. Zoff Consumption. Whoa. Poor. What is it? Poor it's beast. Mosquito? Yeah, it's like just sucking on oh, its. Boy. Well, it's basically drained all the blood. <laughs> Each opponent loses four life and you gain four life. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your Zof Blood Bog. Whoa. Okay. Glacial Grasp, Lithoform Blight. Um, actually, this card's not bad. Um, I th Shed land. Yeah, it just basically nice. uh, gets a land to lose all its land types. And then it can only add colorless, or you pay one to add one mana of any color. Hmm, interesting. So you would enchant your. Ooh, another pathway. Very nice. This is. Okay, Boros Pathway, Red White, Pillar Verge Pathway, and Needle Verge Pathway. And then we've got a rare Squad Commander, uh, Party Party Matters uh, card, I think. Oh, Living Death. Nice. Oh, another card from the list? Yeah, so this one is, um, yeah, I think this was reprinted in, what is that? So it's 25. Yeah, so I think the 25th anniversary. I can't remember wow, the name of the set. But yeah, so another nice black uh, card, Living Death, rare, uh, for Graveyard Shenanigans, Graveyard Matters. Very nice. Cool. How okay. many cards in this have we gotten? I'm going to count this. Yeah, count it up. Let me know. Brilliant. So we're down to our last pack, guys. See what we get. Um, do we have another Mythic here, hopefully? Celestial Colonnade. Nice. Okay. So what did we end up, how many did we end up getting? Hold on, this is my list. See, check this guy's art out. Wiley, Wiley Beckert. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, we saw it a while ago, but I'm just saying. Look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, nice. I haven't seen this yet. Territorial Scythe, scythe Cat. Uh, Landfall Cat. Nice. Feed the Swarm. Okay, Black Black players will love this. It's an enchantment destruction for black. Very nice. Finally. And then our last rare is Arch Archpriest of Iona. Another uh, party matters creature, which uh, I'm not too keen on. And our foil is Marauding Blight Priest, an insect token. Okay. okay, we got eight cards in the list. That's pretty amazing. We actually maximized our 25% chance. So we got two rares. Uh, Warm Power Stone's pretty good. Um, Simeon Spirit Guide. But getting a Living Death, actually, that was, uh, I guess, the best of them. Um, I don't know about this Clearwater Goblet. Um, but yeah, that's quite a lot of uh, cards from the list. And then uh, let's have a look at our, our, um, our rares. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30, 31. Okay, so, so at least one for each pack. Yeah, at least one for each pack. Uh, but we did get a few mythics and a few foil mythics, like yeah. this uh, tyrant, leyline tyrant. So it's one, two. Is that a mythic? No, so that's 32. 32 years. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven mythics and then uh, I think one foil. Yeah, one foil. Okay, so let's have a look now at our box topper. Let's see if we got an expedition. Fingers crossed. Um, I think I'll need some scissors for this. This one's a bit harder to to open up. I'd cry if I if I oh God. <laughs> cut the if I cut it. My nice pink scissors. Snip. Okay. What did we get? Oh, let's, come on. This this it. Ooh. And the last card to end the night is a Horizon Canopy. Not a ex Ooh. not a fetch land, but still pretty cool. Nice. Um, so it's a tap, pay one life, add white or green, or you sacrifice it and draw a card. All right, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it was a long video, uh, but we wanted to experience the set booster uh, opening um, and just see, experience the cards um and the different style that wizard has, has put into this uh pack opening experience and yeah what do you say you like it I, it was definitely fun yeah. i enjoyed it definitely different um so yeah uh interesting to see how how they're going to make this i guess appear in the next upcoming sets um with strix haven and um you know the new D, D set coming up um so yeah i want to see more of this i think it's um you know a pretty pretty good innovative idea um, but yeah, thank you again for joining us and we'll see you guys again in the next video.